If you're a developer who wants to create an audience so you can build a personal brand online, but you're afraid of what people are going to think or whether people are going to say that you're spamming, then if you don't take action, you're basically never going to get what you want out of life, whether that's more meaning, independence or freedom. And I know exactly how this feels because even though I may have published over 250 YouTube videos and have 34,000 subscribers or whatever it is. When I first started creating content, I was incredibly afraid of what people would think. And in fact, once someone did describe my content as spam. But here I am many years later and I'm going all in on building a personal brand and in fact, helping other developers do the same. And the only reason I can do this is because I realized one thing. And that is that being a spammer and being prolific are two sides of the same coin. That means to say that what one person sees is meaningless content that isn't really going to help them move towards their goals. That same video article or whatever it is can be profoundly transformational and speak to a completely different person in a very deep way. And when you realize that there are 8 billion people in the world and God knows how many of those are connected to the internet, but it's quite a few. The fact is, you're never going to please everyone. Some people are going to dislike your content. Some people might even leave negative comments. But if you've got something valuable to share, if you want to make an omelette, you've got to break a few eggs. What I mean by that is whatever ideas you're having for content to create, whether that's videos on YouTube or whatever else, there are people out there in the world that would really appreciate learning from your unique experience and wisdom. Hello, doggy. And if you never take action by sitting in front of the camera, getting a bit uncomfortable and try to share that and upload it to YouTube, well, you can never help that person that might be struggling with some framework, tool, or programming language on the other side of the world. The fact is that I know you take pride in your development work. You've been doing this for a few years. You enjoy building software, and you've probably got opinions on how it should or shouldn't be done. And the other fact is that there are tens of thousands of developers just like you and just like me who are logging onto YouTube every day and they're going to watch something. They're scrolling their home feed, looking for something valuable to watch. And if your video doesn't appear there, well, that's one chance missed for you to connect with another human being. Sometimes the root of this problem is you not believing that the experience and skills that you have as a developer are worth sharing. That someone could find something that you take for granted every day, building and shipping features to production or whatever else you do, you might find it hard to believe that someone else would find that information valuable. Well, I kind of thought along similar lines when I started out on YouTube six years ago, but I took action anyway, uploading tutorials on AWS, Java, Jenkins, and other stuff without really knowing whether people would find it interesting. Well, it took 14 videos before I got regular views every day, and I was surprised that yes, people did find these topics interesting. The difficult part of this content creation thing for developers is as much as you strategize and think about what might work, you're never going to know for sure until you start creating something and putting it out there. That by default is going to feel awkward, but that's just part of the process. Just like how me making this video, I don't know whether this idea is going to resonate until I hit upload and actually publish it on the internet. And one thing I've realized over the last year is the more often you can do that, the more you can learn. See each video you upload as a small experiment to find out what your audience is interested in, to improve your skills, and build a body of work online that's gonna stay with you for a lifetime and shows that you're the kind of developer that's worth listening to. And whether some people say that's spammy, like one guy who said when I was doing daily uploads that I upload too often, it doesn't matter because for the right person, you're gonna seem prolific. That means good. So if you've been sitting on the fence and thinking, I should really jump on this bandwagon, start a YouTube channel, build an audience and potentially build a second income stream to guard against an uncertain future, then I invite you just to do one thing. Come up with one idea, film one video of you presenting that idea and give yourself permission to do it however badly it turns out. It's going to be beautiful either way and then upload that thing. That's how my YouTube channel started. That's how anybody starts building an audience. And if you want to follow a slightly more detailed step-by-step -step process to uploading your first video, then check out my free course, Dev Creator Kickstart, link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.